started. Um, tonight, I'm going to give you your final project of the semester. Um, the the last, your last, the presentation and this portfolio are two um, of the more weighted assignments of the class. So I want to give you plenty of time to get them done. Uh, so um, hopefully, I've had one person turn in their presentation. I hope that's uh, going well. Let me know. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. I have the assignment and then I have an example here to show you when we, after we go over this. Okay, let me just do it this way. All right. So your final um, final portfolio, this uh, has a checklist. It comes to 100 points. That means like 100% complete. The assignment itself actually is worth 25 points. So it's a one quarter of your uh, grade. So you want to make sure you get everything in here. This is a checklist. So you can go through and check off everything. Make sure that you haven't left anything out or have any questions. So you're going to start off with a resume or bio. So you're going to either put in a resume or write a little biography about you know what experience you've had and what uh, maybe brought you to want to teach. Um, then you're going to include your, you know, I can make this a little bigger. Okay. Um, you put in your art integration and then uh, that assignment that you that you did. Um, then you're going to put uh, in four lesson plans, and um, you might you might you should you should be able to use some of the ones that we've done. You might have to switch them around a little bit because you need to have each one of them. You need to have each one of these topics, and then you need to have each one be a different stage of development. Um, if you don't remember what that is, it's on Canvas. Look it up. There were, we had four age groups. So you want one of these to be each age group. Um, and then it doesn't matter which one goes with which, as long as you have four age groups and you, ha you have a lesson plan for each one of these. And I, like I said, you can use one of the ones you've already done as long as it fits. Um, uh, you know, just in the, that it's appropriate to the age, you know, you might have to reduce some of them. Um, so we had one that was uh, inspired by a book or a video. Uh, the example of the one we did in class, it was all the way in the beginning, the travel uh, paintings that you did, those were uh, based on that book, uh, Tar Beach by Faith Ringgold. And I had a book, but I think I should put on, um, there was a video of the book, somebody reading the book or, uh, so uh, it could be a video too. It could be a book or a video. Then the non-Western culture, we just did that one. Um, integrate art into an educational subject. Make sure that we know what educational subject and what the art project is and what the educational subject is. And one inspired by an artist or an art movement. That was the last assignment that you're still working on. Um, then you're going to include two examples of art projects completed in the class. So without the lesson plan, just two of the art projects that you did that you thought came out the best. And then with a little description of what they are. Um, this was just kind of give an example. I'm going to show you an example of a portfolio so you'll see what I'm talking about. Then we need uh, at least one photo of you teaching. You can use more than one and a letter of recommendation. So find somebody from your life, who, you know, maybe a boss, former boss, some, um, Someone from your church, maybe you did volunteer work, uh, maybe a former teacher, um, somebody who uh, will write you a nice letter of recommendation. And that's it. And then uh, when I taught, when I first started this, um, some people uh, people had the option to do this either, you could turn in a physical portfolio or you could do it online. And um, I saw that uh, that was that in 2016 is when uh, the person who did the sample uh, portfolio did hers. And I asked her, let's, see, yeah, let's get back to the, let me see if I can get to the sample here. Nope, I guess. 
see it down there. Okay. I'm just going to go back to. Okay. Um, I didn't just put this online. Uh, she, <laughs> I asked her, she did a nice job um, of uh, turning it in. And uh, she was one of the first people that did it online. And so I wanted to give other people, a, you know, who knew we would be doing everything online? Who knew there was going to be a pandemic? I didn't. <laughs> okay, so here's the sample. We'll take a look at this. So, like I said, she gave me permission. That's what I was trying to say. That I won't. You won't just find your. I won't be showing your work to other classes without your permission. Okay. You know what? Um, earlier, I opened this up, and part of it was missing on here. But when I opened up the, opened it up this way. It open. There it is. Okay. Then I could see everything. Well, it's still not. Oh, you know what? I already have it down here. Duh. Oh, well. Okay. There we go. So her name is Justine. Oops. And well, you saw that uh, she uh, that was her front page. And then here was uh, she did a little bio. And then here was her arts integration paper. And then um, she here's her lesson plan. So here's her uh, one using a book. Now you can put you don't have to do it this way exactly. Um, you can do it how you want uh you, you know you're to your own design but uh, i think hers was uh, successful and worked out well her non-western culture her lesson plan in this art sample integrating history into art her art integration and the sample and then the artist here were two samples we did um I think i talked about this in class we uh i showed you that film about making batiks uh, we did that in class, and then um, in this case, we use paper, and you uh, use crayon to color, you know, color in a picture, and you tried to just get as much wax on there as you possibly could, and then you crunch it all up, you know, especially if it's little kids, you can have them jump on it, you know, uh, wad it up and jump on it, and then anyway, you want to break, crack the wax, and then uh, it cracks randomly, then you put like uh, black tempera paint or watercolor over it, and it seeps into all the little cracks and it gives like a batik look. So um, the later I did one in class that we did with uh, sandpaper and actual real fabric and an iron. And um, my students, um, at the end of that class, I said, what was your favorite project out of all the projects? And everybody voted for that one. So I will probably keep doing it that the way with the cloth, but this works out really well too. And it's, uh, you know, uh, low maintenance. <laughs> you most, you know, it's not that hard to have paper crayons and some black paint, so and water. And then this we did in class. This is uh, this was her um, color collage. So she did warm colors. Here is Justine teaching. She was reading a book to the class. Um, you know, her, that's we did presentations in class, um, and. Uh, um to, to each other to the students every class we do usually one or two for a while um that class met twice a week too so it was easier uh, it was like an hour and a half twice a week uh and then here is one of the students who was one of her fellow classmates and then here was the project and then uh her letter of recommendation um so that's that is it uh so um, one thing I, I have had this portfolio that's like something maybe that you would put together to apply for a job. And I actually have had people use them and apply for a job. They got a, uh, somebody uh, got a job teaching art at uh, Krasl. And uh, so I will just recommend um, some of you have noticed uh, have a lot of typos or misspelled words. So I don't um, I don't uh, correct that because I'm not an English teacher. Um, I, you know, I just want to make sure that you have 
the art education ideas that I'm trying to convey to you. Um, that's all I'm looking for. But I will say, um, if you do use it to apply for a job, have somebody uh, check it for you. If, if spelling and grammar is not your thing, um, just double check it. Because if you're ever going to apply for a job, you want to make sure that you put, you know, give them your best effort. So uh, you want to make sure there's not misspelled words, and, uh, you know, uh, typos where sometimes when you use spell check, it puts in like a weird word, you know, like like you misspelled trampoline and then it puts in tambourine or something. <laughs> and so we were jumping on the tambourine. Anyway, um, yeah, so just, you know, that's just one little thought there. Um, the other thing is next week, I wanna go over the, um, uh, like the projects you've done already, just kind of recap some of those, like talk a little bit about the uh, visual thinking strategies. I wanna show you, um, I want to show you something about that, and I want also want to tell you what those pictures actually were. So I'm not doing it tonight because there's a few people who um, were struggling in the class who seem to be trying to uh, turn in some of the assignments. So this is last call for the visual thinking. Uh, there's a couple of people who haven't turned it in. So um, once I tell you what the pictures are about, you can't really do the assignment because it would wreck it because the idea is you don't know what they're about. So um, uh, we'll go over we'll go over all that stuff next class and uh, check in um, in case sometimes if people ask questions I, you know I'll answer them in the video so that uh, I usually figure if one person has that question somebody else probably has it too so um, feel free to contact me that I'm here for you and um, uh, I guess the other thing is. Um, that I, this is due the 26th, I think, and then there's a little bit of a cutoff date after that. Um, I've taken in some late work. Uh, I said I wouldn't, but I just, you know, I know these are weird times right now for people. <laughs> and so I just have some compassion for uh, people who might be struggling. There's just, um, you know, living through a pandemic is, is, uh, it's hard. So, um, but I will have to say that there is an end of the class and I have to get grades in. I have five classes. So if people turn a lot of stuff in at the end, I can't, uh, you know, late, I can't really uh, say that I will have time to grade it. So uh, try to get these in um, on time. So, uh, otherwise, um, if it comes in too late, it won't. Uh, uh, you won't get re you won't get credit for it. So, and it is twenty five percent of your grade. So you want you want to make sure you have it. Um, let's see. So, uh, I guess the other thing is, is that it's up to you now. You can blast through these last two assignments and be done with the class. If you have other classes you need to study for, um, even though, uh, uh, or you know, or, or turn them in later too. So um, that's really, I guess, what I have for you. Next week, we'll, I'll go over some of those past assignments and um, see how you're doing with, with the last two projects. And uh, contact me if you need me.